What's up guys and welcome back to Beastcraft, which has been ages since the time we've uh, we've played. I've actually been playing for uh, quite a while, um, at least about two weeks or so, uh, for those who follow my Facebook or the Beastcraft Facebook or anything like that. We posted a picture of me um, holding the Ender Egg after we took down the Ender Dragon about five or eight hours into the, the first day or something like that. Um, the reason it was down is that they were waiting for a stable 1.5 server to come up and everything like that. And um, now that it's up, uh, everybody's been working like crazy to uh, to do things. Like as you can see, the in farm is already up. I have my sounds turned off because this is just awful to listen to. Um, there is a problem with some of these guys dying uh, instantly. I'm not 100% sure why, but. Um, Anyways, uh, I, I came down here with a bunch of books and started enchanting them. I need to make an ender chest. But uh, as you can see, there's some stuff in here. Like, um, I like the fortune ones. Sharpness is alright. Protection's okay. Uh, there's another sharpness three. Uh, Unbreaking three apparently is a rare book. So I'm really happy to have that. Because I guess you could put it on armor now. So I may put it on one of these. I'm not 100% sure what. Um... But I wanted to get a couple more levels, as you can see I have 45, because um, I need to repair this pick because I've been repairing it uh, over and over because I do not want to lose it, as you can see why. It is a fantastic pick. Um, I may put... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll save the unbreaking for the armor. Because this could use unbreaking on it, and this could use sharpness. So, anyways, I got 45 levels, and uh, I'm going to go back home and uh, see where we're at with, um, well, spawn. All right, we're back at spawn, uh, which is my uh, my build. Oh, shoot, am I still on fast? There we go. Let's change it to fancy real quick. There we go, much better. 3D clouds and see-through leaves. Um, there's a weird problem, I think it's with Optifine, where you can't see stuff in item frames unless you're on fast. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can see the nether portal is over there, which is where it's not going to be. Uh, I'm going to be moving it over there. But um, let me first explain these diamond blocks here. Apparently, someone, I think, I guess uh, Death Monk placed down, I think, this right here, this block, for someone to break with their fortune pick. But he did it inside of spawn barriers, and no one could break it again. <laughs> so uh, we left it there, and then Swifty brought in all these diamond blocks as sort of a tribute to the uh, the sign of idiocy for season two of Beastcraft Public, or not public, private, my bad, um, Beastcraft 2013. So um, these chests right here are for cobble donations towards the, uh, the castle back here. Uh, we are using my build, my old build, as spawn um, because, uh, I don't know, the people just felt like it was uh, spawn worthy, I guess? I don't know. They Everybody wanted to do it, so whatever. Uh, most of it is the same. You can see I, I think, or I don't think I recorded the top bits of this. That's all um, pretty basic. The sloppy stallion. Pop. Oh, shoot. My stairs are gone. What happened to my stairs? Did someone steal them? <laughs> huh. Um... Well, it looks like I gotta replace those stairs anyways, I'll do that later. It's just beds and rooms and stuff up there, it's nothing special. Uh, over here is a new addition, it's called the Spilled Soup from 7up. He built this outside of spawn because he didn't know where to put it inside of here, but uh, I had this one little extra space over here, told him to move it here, and he built this thing for us. And um, basically there's a mushroom soup inside of there, and when you press any of these buttons, it should... There we go, shoots out soup. So I'm gonna eat the soup. And then put the bowl in there and then it uh, recycles or something, I don't know. Uh, I don't. Th it doesn't fill itself back up. I think they have to be manually filled, but still. Um, anyways, I made a good amount of progress on the castle from uh, the switch to uh, 1.5. I'm hearing zombies somewhere. It's probably in the ground or something. I'm not, I don't know. I uh, got my furnace set up again. I got a bunch of stone in here. Uh, do I have any potatoes? No. Uh, no potatoes. I got some leather armor in here. <laughs> I 
some Batman armor, if you will. A poisonous potato, you know, saving that. I uh, don't have a whole lot of diamonds right now. I have a good amount, obviously, because I, you know, I have full diamond stuff. But after that, I, I, I don't need an excessive amount, you know. I'll get more when I need it. Got a small potato farm over here, just to keep me going. Um, moved a small storage room inside of here, and down here is my mine. Don't need to go into that, because that's boring. Um, slowly coming together, I'm sort of just working on walls and stuff right now. This foyer, or entryway, whatever you want to call it, is sort of the most detailed part right now. You can see it's not all actually that detailed. Um, it's a slow process. This right here is um, my trophy case, because I, I'm working on a new little series right now that uh, will have a trophy going around. But uh, more info on that later. I got an enchanting table set up over here with um, some glowstone. I'm probably going to replace these with um, redstone lamps. But it is... Uh, well, I can't ch test it out. All my stuff's enchanted. It is level 30. Um, this is a wall design that I'm sort of working on. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to incorporate it. But uh, it's just two sets of stairs. Stairs and then upside down stairs. But on the outside, it looks like a flat wall. So I'm thinking I'll probably push that around to the lower bits of the wall. I, like I said, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I need to do more testing to see how much I like it. But it is nice to have a roof. Well, at least a ceiling for the first floor. This thing's only going to be three stories tall, so I'm sort of almost done. Uh, over here will be the dungeons of sorts. It'll probably be some sort of forge area, honestly. Um, there's one staircase over here. There's another spiral staircase right there where you can get up here. It's pretty simple stuff. I'll show you the spiral staircase. Swifty really liked this spiral staircase. It was just something I um, I was lucky enough to throw together the first time and it looked decent enough to where I'm okay with it. Spiral staircases, as you guys probably know, are just awful in um, uh, Minecraft. And my headset turned off, which is wonderful. Let me plug this thing in. I don't know why it turns off automatically like that. I think it, it feels like there's no sound. I gotta take this off. I could cut this out, but you know what? This is a problem that I'm facing, so I'm gonna keep it, uh, keep it in the video. There we go. Okay, let's just plug back in. Uh, but yeah, nothing under the spiral staircase. There's, there's probably going to be nothing um, under the spiral staircase, if I'm being honest. But I need to figure out things to put inside of here. These towers are probably just going to be straight shots all the way up. You know, keep them simple, because there's not a whole lot you can put in the, into towers, and I don't want to do another spiral staircase. Uh, another thing is that these, um, these holes going outside will probably not be there. If anything, I'll put an iron door. Who's over here? David? I don't know who David is. Um, haven't met him. But anyways, let's uh, let's grab a diamond to repair our pickaxe. And um, actually, I need to start making... Do I have blaze rods? I think I do. That's my nether chest, so... There we go. Okay, I got a couple of blaze rods. I need to um, I need to make an ender chest, but I need to go get more obsidian. Yeah, okay. Hi, David. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I need to get obsidian. No, no, no. I want to repair this. Oh, it's it's too expensive now. Okay. Well, I've only been able to repair it from like red into orange, and this is actually the most I've been able to repair it. Uh. I guess I can't... Man, that sucks. I can't repair it anymore. Oh, well, let's repair the shovel then. Since we're here. The shovel's decent enough to repair. But I think I'm just going to continue that. It's just keep... Um, keep repairing that pick so I don't lose it. Uh, unfortunately, i got to keep on top of that. But I guess fortunately it is... Um, <laughs> fortunately. You see, you see the pun there? Uh, it has unbreaking three on it, so it's um, it'll be decent enough to uh, to hang around and use still. Uh, anyways, I gotta go collect a bunch of obsidian so I can get an ender chest over here. 
I'm going to go down into my mine to do that. I think there's a bunch of obsidian right, right... Actually, if I don't have obsidian, I should probably bring a bucket. Uh, bucket would be out here, perhaps. Do I not have... I don't think I've made a bucket or have needed a bucket yet on this season. Um, another thing I want to show you guys is the nether portal. In fact, while I go out to get um, water, let's go check that out. Boo! I do have feather falling on my boots, but I don't think that uh, helps with ender pearls. Pretty sure um, it doesn't matter. Okay, got some water. Let's go check out the nether hub. Uh, I caught it, or I caught them building it rather after they kind of cleared out the area and they were putting in the ceiling and um, I was I was helping them out with the quartz finding quartz because of my pick and um, yeah they got quartz half slabs up here and then there's four nether portals here but the thing is is that I gotta move that portal so I'm a little sad that they uh, they did all this work for this and I gotta move it and I don't think that those two will link up um, you see it's uh it's not I don't want to say it's basic but it is pretty simple we have an enchanted table over here with uh, well one anvil now and um, each one of these goes to someone's house so we have Josh's tunnel that I guess he doesn't have enough for mine carts yet we have seven ups which is how you get to um, the end we have Gleechy's place which is pretty cool uh, here's the ender egg um, trophy room you can see the date that we took it down um, back in March and uh, all the people who helped out up there uh, eight hours in was when we kill it and uh, back here we have Swick and um, I think over on this side is the photo credit towards Gold Souls. yeah he Gold Souls logged on and he took the picture for the Facebook and in that item frame was the bow I used but we can't see it actually if I switch to fast you guys can probably see it yeah, see, there it is. So you can see the bow. Can't see the fact that it's enchanted, but it is. Um, anyways, we have Sean, the portal hub sheep, which apparently came through. A bunch of pigmen just cruising around. Uh, but you can see, yeah, it's a pretty sweet looking place. We have some chests over here where they're hanging out. And another uh, ender chest. And uh, that's about it for the nether hub really I mean we can go to other people's houses but there's just uh, no point right now so let's go through our portal yep yep there we go and uh, go back into the mine and get some obsidian alright and I figured this is a good uh, time to show you guys my mine down here as soon as I uh, turn that all in there I got 10 Obsidian, which I'm pretty happy with. It's pretty basic. It's nothing, uh, nothing fancy. Just a couple of tubes that went down. I haven't really needed a whole lot of material yet because everybody's been pretty generous with their uh, their cobble. I don't know what I got down here. Just some extra cobble. But yeah, you can see it's nothing, uh, nothing, nothing too fancy right now. Haven't, like I said, haven't needed a mine. Um, who's still here? David. David's still here. He's still cruising around. Um, I did lose the spawner that was down here. If those uh, who remember this little trap door before, there was a, I think it was a skeleton spawner down here. But during the uh, the transfer, Swifty wiped all of my chests and I guess the spawners too, uh, which is fine. I understand. Um, but anyways, we got to make a uh, ender chest so we can get my stuff, my books. So I need one of these, and uh, I already have a pearl on me. So I'll make two of them. Why not? I don't have a, I don't have a workbench in here yet. I know I got one there, but I, I'm, I'm gonna need one in here anyway. So why not? Uh, why not make it now? And then. Go and an inner chest. Boop. There we go. Now I got all my books, which is a uh, which is a good thing. Let's do 
do that and uh, actually you know what I'm gonna move you in that chest and uh, we're going to make an anvil why not let's make another anvil over here so I think it's um I think it's three of these isn't it three and then like that yeah it's almost like I'm remembering things now. There we go. And boop. All right, not bad. So let's uh, why don't we add sharpness onto the sword? That shouldn't be too much, yeah. Eight levels. Why not? That didn't. Hmm. Is there? Hmm. <laughs> All right, I kind of got screwed out of that. Do I have uh... well, I got two knockbacks. Is there anything past knockback two? I think knockback two is the only one, right? Oh shit, it really, okay. I didn't know that it would show you afterwards of what it's gonna be. 11, okay, I like knockback. Well, crap. That sucks. What's uh, what's on it? It must be smite then, right? Like, sharpness doesn't overwrite smite because it's level 4? That's all I can think of. Um, and then there's efficiency on that. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't want fortune on it. Hmm. Fire protection would be nice. Put it on my legs or something. There you go. Okay, nope. That doesn't work. Hmm. I need to figure out uh, how to do these, uh, the enchantments and stuff like that and like why some stuff works and why some doesn't. Because obviously I don't, uh, I don't get it. But that's fine. What we need to do is uh, is get to work on the castle. Uh, I need to fill up some rooms. I think now that I got the, the first floor covered up and everything like that, that it's time to start assigning these rooms and making these into things. So um, I think I'm going to put the storage room on the first floor so it's easier to uh, obtain. Oh, actually, you know what? It might be a cool idea to put it underneath and make it look like, kind of like a sewer. Or, um, like the underbelly of, uh, what's, uh, what's the place I'm thinking about in Skyrim, the Thieves Guild? You know how, like, they're, um, the little grotto that they hang out in? Uh, I kind of want to kind of make it like that. Not, not exactly, but, you know, the same, same style. Uh, but I do need to figure out what else is going to go in here. Because I can put something over here, obviously. A lot of these places will be like walkways just to get between like the stairway and everything like that. But I think I could do about three rooms in here. And them not be too ginormous to where it's crazy. This room I'm just going to turn into sort of a lounge, I think. Uh, I don't know, I got the enchanting table. Maybe I'll put in like a, um, uh, like a forge area, you know? Like, we'll have uh, an anvil or something over here, and maybe I'll bring in some lava. Uh, I am going to have to put uh, towards precautions to not burn things down, because 90% sure that fire spread is still on. I think the only thing that they turned off from vanilla is uh, creeper block damage. And that was, um, that was straight from Brenny. Anyways, uh, I'm going to try to come up with something some rooms uh, off camera so I'm not sitting here going uh, uh I don't know and do that over and over I'm probably gonna knock out this wall at least like something like that so you can see through it you know really opens the room up hmm. feng shui it's all about feng shui guys okay I'm gonna get to work I'll come back when I have some stuff planned and we're back uh, back at the beginning of well the start of the castle right here I've done some work uh, for the rooms here, as you can uh, clearly see. Uh, I, it's been a lot of me just 
busting stuff down and redoing it, building it back up, busting it down, etc., etc. But you can see that we have a new outline around here because I made these, uh, the floor is now, oh, I don't know why I'm trying to break it with that, is uh, half slabs to prevent mobs from spawning inside of here. And um, originally I had the stone bricks here go all the way through the ground and it just it wasn't it wasn't good I needed something to break it up and I figured you know using spruce wood I'll use spruce logs to uh, sort of outline things and bring a little bit more detail out and I, I love it I, I, I like the way it looks um, and this is me still experimenting with this wall design here uh, this would be sort of how I'd uh, employ it into other rooms I had it um, going inwards right here Excuse me, um, I was using stairs and I kind of zigzagged and stuff like that, but I didn't like it. Uh, I like this better because it seems like it's a, it's a bigger pillar than it really is. So it looks like it's uh, holding up some, some uh, support. I may change this to logs. Actually, let's, uh, let's test that out right now. So I'll uh, bust out these. So two go there and then the rest here. Okay, okay, uh, I got this. There we go. That's a bit better. I kind of like that. Uh, I'm going to be putting in a lot of spruce logs for support beams and stuff like that in uh, certain locations, you know, probably something like that around here. I'll, pro I'll have it uh, blended better. I'll probably take this one all the way over here. Um, as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of logs because they're just, I don't know, you go through logs really quick. Uh, wood is a little bit easier to come by. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's actually not bad. It sort of fools the eye into thinking that there's a, there's a bigger piece of wood here than there is. Uh, anyways, I still do really like this divider. I kind of wish I had it employed, employed, uh, deployed, bad, whatever. I wish I would have used it. Sorry guys, it's 5 in the morning right now. My sleep schedule is completely screwed up. Um, hence why the, the weird upload times and lack of videos is just because... I don't know. It's all it's all bad. Anyways, I do like uh, the stairs around this. Kind of presents it a little bit better. I thought about using books down here to kind of complete the look, but... Um, I don't know. I'm still sort of debating on what's going on in this corner because... I really don't like these books on the on the corners here. I'd rather that be stone, but I can't get level 30 that way um, because those have to be there. Anyways, that's that's whatever. I, I I miss the days where it would the top row would count because then I put you know books up there and then we're good. But apparently that doesn't work that way anymore. I I'm pretty sure I tested it. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I did. And I talked to people and they said that it didn't work. Um, or the corner pieces too. The corner pieces don't work. Like there's books here, but it didn't give me 30 until I put these ones in. I don't know. That's beside the point. Let's go check out the other other stuff. Um, this is just sort of uh, regular blocks here. Well, these are stairs. But uh, regular blocks up here um, coming up and checking out all this stuff. You know what, that's what's weird, is that I don't have any sounds on. Um, maybe that's what's really throwing me uh, for a loop right here. Uh, there will be probably a staircase or something inside of here. Not sure what's going here yet, but I like these windows. Um, just sort of happened that way, but I like it. This bit up here, I decided to elevate because, uh, I don't know, just felt like uh, this would be a cool place to kind of elevate something. You can kind of look down in other rooms and uh, have fun with that. These right here are sort of well, me, uh, I don't know, experimenting with chandeliers and stuff like that. I might switch them up to something, I don't know, I'm going to try to blend it a little bit better. It's kind of hard to do that, you know, because how do you make this blend? Um, maybe even put like a lever like that, but that, I don't know. Levers, you really got to stretch the imagination to make them look like, oh crap, like they're, uh, they're holding something. 
But you can see the ground is a little dark here, and I, I didn't like that. I wanted to brighten it up a bit. Sure, I could use like redstone lamps or glowstone or something like that, but I'm going to try to keep that stuff to a minimum. Uh, I like using torches in castles. just sort of makes sense to me. Blocked out this area behind the spiral staircase because didn't need it. And uh, when I was doing this upper bit right here, this was another experiment that um, I'm sort of toying with. Uh, with uh, the half slabs and stuff like that and I decided to carry it on over here and I really like the way it looks right here. I think that looks awesome. And uh, I've been putting it in corners and like uh, along flat walls I'll put a set amount but uh, during corners like this I just kind of carry it through and it just this corner looks weird to me like a, it's one of those things where when you point it out then you kind of notice it as you can see, there's a support beam there, 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 and then there's nothing here. So I'm thinking maybe I could break that. Put in two things, right? And then putting in a staircase here. And then moving this one over. You know, moving them over so <coughs> they'd be spaced evenly. But then I got this weird. I don't know, middle ground, where, I've, uh, I don't know, I, could, I don't know, it's just, it's a really weird corner to, to try to deal with, and um, even this corner right here, because there's, if I keep up with the thing where I have no corner pieces, this being the, the biggest reason, right there, lighting glitches, um, break it there we go just gotta time it at the right spot but it's just it's lighting glitches so I gotta I gotta put full blocks there to try to help against that but since this is a corner it's kind of difficult I don't know but I'm still throwing you know designs and stuff around because uh, as you can see I'm using levers here to hold up these because it looks better on the outside than it did me putting them on the inside um, uh, this was raised up to another level or so. You can see right there. I'm hearing zombies or something in in my walls. Yeah, see, I have torches and stuff inside my walls. I, I think it's it might actually be underneath me. I can't be for certain though. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's really all I've been doing. This is. <laughs> It's taken me a lot longer because I had to replace the whole floor and I did some testing to see if um, I didn't know if it was uh, so well, I'll go I'll go out front to show you guys I guess I didn't have to go out front I could have could have done it there but I was um, I was concerned about how half slabs work to prevent mobs if they had to be on the bottom block which is right here it's on the bottom half of the block or if it would work being on the top half like that and um, because it's still a half slab but it's on the top block now in which we can put shit on top of so technically I guess this is seen as a full block to mobs and they can spawn on this stuff so this is all the places they can spawn but they can't spawn on the here on the lower <clears throat> the lower blocks so I made up a couple of rooms with different half slab um, heights to try to test that and turns out yeah they can spawn on the top blocks but not the bottom so I had to tear it all out and uh, replaced it with uh, half slabs and then I had to come up with like certain areas like this I want to keep this flat I kind of like it I like the multi-level thing right here it was just too short between these two areas to dip down and right back up so said screw that kept those full blocks and then I went down right there uh, over here these are gonna be pushed back to here um, obviously this stuff will all be changed as well uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna put down here for walls I was thinking maybe uh, cobblestone But again, like I said, not uh, not 100% sure yet. Uh, 
should I put half slabs here too? I'm trying to use half slabs more because uh, they prevent mobs from spawning and I don't have to worry so much about lighting. Uh, the only problem with half slabs is that, well, you gotta deal with that extra half, uh, half block. There we go. Uh, I guess I could bring that out like that, yeah? That's not bad. I guess I don't need to put that block there. Um, but I think that's going to be the design right there. And this as well. Uh, boop. Yeah. Bam. All right. And then, you know, this is obviously going to be all dug out to wherever it's going to be going. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh. Exactly. I built this on near a lake bed, so that's why there's a shit ton of sand here. Um, when it was originally built, now it's in a, a snow biome, so... Oh yeah, I got some cobblestone here. Let's, uh... Oh no, no, Dwight. We need to... We'll put sand back in here. Try not to leave holes and stuff like that so we don't have random mobs being spawned in here. Yeah, I think that's not bad. You know, cobblestone's very um, gritty, so I feel like it sort of belongs in the uh, the lower, I don't, I don't know, dungeons, sewers, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to call it yet. Um, no, nah, that's got to be brought out another level. There we go. I don't like um, two wide stuff for three wide stairs. I think the corner pieces, like right here which is what I'm standing on, need to be as big as a stairway. So this is a 3x3 three three, because these are three wide stairs. If it was two, then you can get away with doing a two, because it needs to be a square. Um, could just be my mind saying, no, 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 we can't do that. We have to do this the right way. So I'll probably put wood there. And then this will be half sloobs that and then our stairs will continue here like that and that'll probably go straight down into it because I wanted to be about two or three blocks away from the the, the floor level there we go put another torch there just to keep mobs from wanting to hang out over here. All right, so that's sort of the plan. I know this episode was sort of, well, off camera, because um, I really had no idea what I'm gonna be doing through here, but I promise that with uh, upcoming episodes, there's gonna be a lot more building on camera than, uh, than this. Now that I sort of have a style that I'm going with, it, it should come easier. The, the lower bits down here, that I was just working on. This is, this is, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna be doing there yet. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably hop on like a creative world or um, something of that caliber and try to work out some sort of underground storage cellar type. You know, like uh, rooms that have giant um, wine barrels and stuff like that? Well, hmm. I don't know how to convey this without just showing a picture. So uh, anyways, I'll, I'll try to come up with some sort of concept uh, outside before I start building down there to show you guys. But that's going to have to wait until next episode. So, whoa, shit. You are not oh man, I forgot I had knockback. What's up? Oh man, no gold armor. Whatever. You suck. He has uh, an enchanted helmet. And didn't even bother dropping it for me. See, that's, uh, that's the problem with having this open. <laughs> I get uh, I get visitors. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I gotta go get more cobble rolling. I have a bunch already smelted again from what I took. But um, my own stash is pretty low. And 
I think the stuff that's out in front of spawn... Uh, I don't know if it's going to be enough, because I'm making a lot of stairs and half slabs. Um, it would be... I have enough to build the actual structure, but... Mm. But, uh, yeah, gonna go. Uh, I'll try to get at the walls between episodes to the outside ones. Because no one likes watching a wall being built. So, uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like. There's a bunch of other people on the server also doing videos right now. Dole is already making videos uh, again. She's put out a bunch. Uh, Swifty is working on some, too. I'll post some of the other Beast Crafters down below if I remember to get their YouTubes. Because some of them, they, they have different, like, numbers and crap like that we should have like a master list that'd, that'd be nice but um yeah i'll see you guys uh for the next beastcraft <laughs>